Well, good evening, everyone. It seems we've kind of been on a stormy pattern, and as of right now, that's the way it's continuing to look. We saw a line of storms move through earlier. We've got another one that is approaching us, and that's because uh, that's why we've got this severe thunderstorm watch in effect. Runs until tonight at 10 o'clock or until the National Weather Service decides to cancel that. But again, that is in effect until 10 o'clock uh, tonight. Christian, Macon, Pyatt, Champaign, and Vermilion counties included in that severe thunderstorm watch. And as we take a live look at radar, you'll see that we do have a couple of cells that are kind of starting to move in. This one that's just to the northwest of uh, Taylorville has kind of started to die down just a little bit. But of course, these storms are continuing to move to the east, so we'll continue to keep you updated. You can see a closer uh, view of that one just west of Decatur, just east of Springfield. Uh, some heavy rainfall there as we're seeing on radar. Taking a look at temperatures right now, we've bumped things back up just a little bit after we saw that first line of storms move through. Well, we've started to bump these temperatures back up, and as we bump those temperatures up, well, the warmer they get, that sunshine allows us to bump them up. Well, that gives us the fuel to have some uh, thunderstorms, so that's what we're that's what we're seeing right now. Temperatures bump back up to the 70 degree mark across much of the viewing area, and again, that sunshine starting to peek through just a little bit. As we put Futurecast into motion, though, you'll see these storms uh, continue to die down through the evening, and they'll move out as temperatures drop down. They'll die down, but again, as uh, we put Futurecast into motion by about 10 o'clock, they're almost out of the viewing area, then getting into the overnight hours. Well, we're seeing them moved off into the east, so the rain will taper off. And again, the chance of thunderstorms will taper off too as temperatures drop down throughout the overnight hours tonight. So here's what it looks like to break it down for you. If you've got any evening plans, uh, temperatures will uh, continue to drop off down into the 50s and then seeing those storms clear out for the overnight hours. Now, as we put Futurecast into motion on Tuesday, here you can see that cold front that this is associated with. We've got colder air behind this. And as I show you this, you'll see skies continuing to clear. We'll see just a few clouds still left around, but as the day goes along, going to continue to see some clearing throughout much of east central Illinois. So things will start to uh, we'll start to see that sunshine, especially later on in the day and linger around with clear skies for the evening on Tuesday. Now to break it down for you hour by hour, here's what it looks like getting up almost to that 60 degree mark. I mentioned cooler air moves in behind this cold front. Uh, we will hit that 60 degree mark, likely somewhere uh, in the early afternoon. So by four, we'll start dropping things off. But again, the skies just continue to clear for your Tuesday. And I want to show you Wednesday because skies are going to clear even more. Let's take a look at this. This area of high pressure moves through and that's going to clear our skies up. So we're going to see plenty of that sunshine for your Wednesday. Here's what it looks like. High temperatures as that high pressure system moves through. We do have the northerly winds pulling us back just a little bit, but they'll start back bumping back up by the time we get into Wednesday, right around 65 for your high temperature on Wednesday. So here's what things look like again tonight to break that down for you. The thunderstorms end skies clear throughout the overnight hours. Winds out of the northwest right around 5 to 10 miles an hour helping to cool us down right around 50 for the overnight low and taking a look at the seven day forecast. Here's what it looks like a few clouds again for Tuesday, but take a look Wednesday. We see the sunshine return and that's about all we get of it for a little bit. Take a look at the thunderstorm chance. It is spring folks, so we do have that chance of thunderstorms later on in the week into sa uh, Saturday and Sunday. That chance is still lingering around, so we certainly are living up to the spring weather. Yeah, yeah Jesse, it's looking like if you have Easter plans, if you're going for an Easter egg hunt, you might want to bring the umbrella. Yeah, as of right now, looking like the first half of the day going to get rained out, but things will start to clear up late Easter. We'll continue to watch that.